Hey guys, it's Two Finger. I've got uh, tomato plants here in front of me. I've got some pepper plants, jalapenos, and uh, banana peppers. I'm going to transfer these tomatoes over some plastic cups so I have a little more room to grow some root base in them. Some of them still fine in this, but some of them getting a little bigger. And it's still too too big of a chance of uh, frost to have them planted outside. So I want to plant them in these cups to get them to grow a little bigger before we get to go outside. And it can spread them out that way. They get better light. I'm gonna probably go ahead and do the peppers too. They're plenty small, but. I'll go ahead and get them in some cups as well. Anyway, I'll get uh, get some of the dirt mixed up, show you what we're going to use. Okay, so now I've got about two to one, some of this seed starting mix here. It's kind of dry. And then I've got some black cow compost manure. Like I said, it's about two to one ratio. And I'm going to mix it all up together. This is what we're going to put inside of our cups. It's still a bit dry. I may put a little more of the cow compost in. Okay, so now what I'm doing is taking, like I said, I'm taking them out of the smaller seed starting trays and putting them in a bigger cup where they have more room to grow a nice set of roots and get a good strong root system started to where we can uh, grow them a little bigger before we can plant them outside. And all I'm doing is putting a little bit of mixture in the bottom and I carefully take these out trying not to handle them too much and then tomatoes you can bury the stem some on them it actually helps some They'll root out from about anywhere. I just fill the cup up like so. Pack it down around them just a little, not a lot. Just enough to let them be nice and firm, strong standing. These had roots already coming out of the bottom of these seed starters, looking for more water. Which is a good sign. These are all beefsteak tomatoes that were grown from seeds from a good friend of mine that that planted a whole bunch of them, decided that he didn't need as many as he planted, so he decided to grant some to me.
see what I've got. Got eight of them done so far. I've only got 20 cups, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish out the tomatoes in the cups. These peppers, I went through and thinned them out to where there's one pepper plant per pod. They're still a little bit small, so I'm going to leave them up there where they're at for now. to get some more dirt. Okay, I got some more dirt now. And uh, like I said, what I'm using is uh, the seed starting mix. Root's got root developer in it. And I, it mainly looks like a, a really ground up compost of some sort. And then I'm using probably close to half of the uh, black cow compost, black cow manure compost, it's the black cow brand, I don't know if it came from a black cow. But me and my family, there's just three of us here, so there's too many tomato plants for us. If they all take off, there's no way we'll be able to use all the tomatoes from it. So my mom got herself a little garden. I told her I'd give her some plants. I'll give her some peppers too. And it's still going to leave us quite a bit, so I'll probably call my sister. See if she wants some as well. I don't know if she's doing a garden or not, but she might if I give her some free plants. Anyway, I hope these guys being in these bigger containers will be able to grow a good strong root ball for when we do get past all the frost and get to where we can plant them outside. Hopefully that's soon because I am tired of this cold, wet weather. Ready for spring. So now what I'm doing is taking each one of these cups, punching a small hole on either side of the bottom of them to let some of the water drain. Doesn't take much, I just don't want don't want the roots sitting and standing water down at the bottom of these cups. I want them to be able to stay moist but not soaking wet. It could cause them to rot and plants just don't do as good. Okay, now I've got my light lifted up. I've got it just tied up with some paracord, some 550 cord on both sides. And I'm giving them a good drink of water. I know it looks like a lot of water, but this stuff is really dry and it takes a lot to soak it up. And I've already watered them. I've already watered these in the back and it's already soaked it up and they already look dry again. Tomatoes love water. Now that I've got them all watered, I'm trying to stack them in here where it's going from tall to small so they're not really 
shading each other out. I'm trying to center it in the light so they all get a good even amount. And I'll lower that light down. About to run out of room. Onions out of the way here. I don't know if you watched my last video about these onions, but this is the old ones I've done. I don't know what happened to them. They just they, they just died. I got a new batch here that looks much better. They look like they're standing up a lot brighter, greener, stronger. And I got some good lettuce coming up. Some of my herbs are starting to come up over here on the side. Then I've got all the peppers and then my tomatoes. Like I said, I'll get the I'll get the light lowered down on down closer to them and then uh, see what happens. We've got it set for eight hours a day, I believe, of light, and I may bump it up. Well, I think it's on six, and I may I'll, I'll probably bump it up to eight hours. Anyway, guys, this is Two Finger, and uh, this is going to be part of my garden. Hope it all goes well, and I'll keep you updated on it. Thanks for watching. Thought I'd give you one last look at everything. These are my lettuces. It's a black seeded Simpson lettuce. It's supposed to be a real good lettuce. We'll see. And I don't know if you can tell, I've got some of the herbs coming up really hard to see them and then of course the peppers jalapeno and banana my onions and then all the little tomato plants that I just transplanted hope to have a good garden this year anyway guys this is two finger and we'll talk to you next time please like and subscribe